you chose to take on this role. Why, why this one? Uh, partly because it frightened me, uh, the enormity of it. Uh, it was a tremendous challenge. Um, and I, I always knew in my early years as an actor in a variety of different acting classes that if I was a little bit frightened of something, it was a good sign. It was a good sign. And, and actors generally have to have that ability to, despite fear or anxiety, they dive into something. Um, you have to have that kind of, uh, <laughs> I don't know if it's ego or, or guts or stupidity or whatever it is, but you have to be able to, to want to take those opportunities and chances uh, to risk you know, falling on your face. Um, only then do you have the, the greatness. And I remember during the, uh, we did a run in, in Boston, and for the, for the month that we rehearsed, um, I, was, I was doggedly tired and um, fiercely devoted to getting this whole idea. And it wasn't just learning the lines, it was, it was taking in the, the spirit of this man and, and his sensibility and, and really understanding who he is and why he made these decisions and why he felt um, compelled to, to behave in, in such, uh, such a manner that was not always kind or considerate. And, um, and I looked over at our other actors, uh, 16 other actors in the company, and they were talking about uh, oh, how much fun they had last night at the bar or something, and they, they're doing crossword puzzles, or they're reading books, or they're listening to music, and, and I was just, I, I had none of that. It was, it was all in. But backstage, when they're ready to start the play and go, I was going, oh, I'm so glad I have this role. <laughs> it's right, you know, it's like yes, and so the payoff, the payoff comes. It's it's delayed gratification for sure, um, but there's definitely a payoff to it because it's it's a bigger than life character, and uh, and to jump into to Lyndon Johnson's shoes was is was a chance that I couldn't pass up.